All right, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at Auto World Deluxe Series. Now the Deluxe is a little different from the Premium Series. Um, so this is gonna be the first part of what's probably gonna be a two-part video. In the second part, we will take a bit of a closer look between um, like what the difference between a Premium and a Deluxe is. I have uh, some more stuff down underneath the desk for uh, for us to take a look at. I have Target exclusive two packs, stuff like that. But for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the first and second releases here of the Auto World Deluxe Series uh, Target exclusive four packs, as well as I did find the uh, 7-Eleven exclusive uh, Auto World Deluxe Series. We've got a 67 Corvette and a 2012 Dodge Viper. Um, probably not going to be opening those. These are probably going to stay in the box and go up on the wall just because, um, uh, just a very, uh, cool piece of die cast collector memorabilia, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, so for the, uh, four packs, we do have release one, release two, version A, right? Versions A and versions B to take a look at so and I have had these uh this first release I've been sitting on this forever I've had this for probably over a year and just haven't gotten around to opening everything and um I actually just found this four pack uh, a couple days ago and I just decided that it was time to open my four packs <laughs> um but before we get into those let's get the 7-eleven exclusive vehicles out of the way here because we're just going to take a look at them in the box now, we have seen most of these castings we've seen before from Auto World Deluxe Series. We have the 2012 Dodge Viper. We have seen this Viper a few times before. Here's one of them here. I know I have a few more kind of strewn throughout. There's another one. There you go. There's another Deluxe Viper. Um, Uh-oh, now my hands are full. Hang on. <laughs> There we go. All right, so it says 7-Eleven and Auto World have partnered to bring these exciting castings to 7-Eleven stores. The Viper is known for its blazing acceleration as it is able to reach 0 to 60 miles per hour in nearly 3 seconds. Um, I think it's like 3.2 or something like that. So that is the Viper there. Get a good look at it because it's not coming out of the box. You got a nice uh, orangish, reddish, orange, green... 7-Eleven logos all over the vehicle, 7-Eleven on the roof and the hood. Let's see if we can uh, get a bit of a better focus going here. There we go. There's a better look at it. Much, much better. And as always, guys, we know with the Deluxe Series, we do have plastic base, plastic tires on there. Um, very cool. Let's take a quick peek at the back. We'll zoom back out for this one. Um... So it says, collect both special edition 7-Eleven cars in this release, 67 Corvette, 2012 Dodge Viper. I have been keeping my eyes peeled for the Ultra Reds, but no such luck yet. I don't think we're ever going to see those. Um, but if I do, you guys will be the first to know about it, that's for sure. All right, second from the 7-Eleven series, the 1967, there's some tape holding that one on, 1967 Chevy Corvette. Uh, once again, it says 7-Eleven and Auto World have partnered to bring these exciting castings to 7-Eleven stores. Uh, 22,940 Corvettes were produced in 1967. 14,436 of the production were Stingray convertibles and the remaining 8,534 were coupes. Yeah, it looks like the box got a little mixed up there and somebody actually taped it back on. I didn't even notice that when I picked it out at the store. Um... Oh, well, no big deal. It's not the end of the world. Um, but there is a look at the car. Very, very cool looking. Again, the 7-Eleven logos everywhere. We have uh, 427 letter or, uh, numbers there on the hood scoop, on the uh, Stinger, if you want to call it that. Very cool stuff. So that is the 7-Eleven cars. There they are. Um, so, and like I said, I'll probably be putting those up on the wall. Um, let's get into, what should we do first? I guess we should do release number one first. That would make the most sense. 
Um, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a 1990 Chevy Camaro IROC, 2017 Dodge Viper GTC, 67 Buick GS340, that's a cool one, and the 2020 Dodge Charger Funny Car Hawaiian Tribute. I have so many Hawaiian Dodge Chargers, so many. Not specifically this one, more so the, uh, the older 1970s body style one, but yet another Hawaiian Charger. And then, of course, we do have version B, which is covered in cat hair. Um, same cars, obviously, again, but uh, different paint jobs. And then this one is Don Garlitz Tribute Funny Car, and, as opposed to the Hawaiian Tribute. Um, so, we've got one fact for each car. And I'm trying to see if there's a way, because these, these four packs are tall. There's really no way for me to hold these up to where we can both read them. So I'm just going to read stuff off to you as I go. It says the 1990 Camaro IROC Z was the first GM car to introduce a driver side airbag safety system. Interesting. Uh, the 2017 Viper GTC is available in over 50 million unique build configurations, allowing customers to create a truly one of one version of their car. Right? I think the C in GTC was like custom, stood for custom. Uh, under the hood of the 1967 Buick GS400 was a 400 cubic inch V8 making 340 horsepower, which on the grand scheme of things isn't a ton of horsepower, but you know, I'm sure it wouldn't take much to get that thing up and going. Uh, this 2020 Dodge Charger funny car is a tribute to drag racing legend Don Garlitz and his sinister black self-named funny car from 1971. So there's our Don Garlitz funny car. All right, and then we have our, oh, I'm sorry, I read version B first, so this is version A. The third generation Camaro was built as a hatchback to compete with the Fox body Mustang of the era. Uh, the hatchback was discontinued by 2002. Well, the 2002 was fourth generation, but anyway. Uh, the Dodge Viper GTS, GTS, that's a GTC is available in over 16,000 colors in both matte and gloss finish, as well as over 48,000 unique stripe combinations. Um, yeah, again, you could really pick, like, whatever you wanted, and Dodge would just do it for you. Uh, from the factory, the Buick GS340 was only available in two colors, white or platinum mist. So I imagine that's platinum mist, and then I guess that's an uh, aftermarket paint job, because it's red. And then it says this 2020 Dodge Charger funny car is a tribute to drag racing, dra drag racing legend Roland Long and his world famous Hawaiian funny car from 1971. All right, let's get them open and check them out. All right, so we're going to start off with our two IROC Camaros. These were, oh God, I already forget. What year were they? 19, what, 90? Yes, 1990 IROC Camaros. So we've got black and we've got white. Let's start off with the black one here. This is really nice looking. Nice red interior. Um, really good looking paint job. A lot of beautiful detail on there. So this is the thing with uh, Auto World Deluxe Series. You get all the detail and all the nice paint and, you know, the really nice casting of a premium series. But as you can probably already see, you get cheap plastic tires, plastic wheels, and a plastic base that uh, doesn't, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then 518 2022, yeah, so these are pretty old, these, uh, at least the first release of this uh, four pack here, these are from 2022, um, so let's take a look at the white one now, again, very nice looking, we've got a white and gold, black interior, Really cool looking car, and my third gen Camaro collection is always, you know, always looking for more third generation Camaros. I don't have that many. Um, I do have, let's see, I believe this was a, does it say? Um, doesn't say the year, but I do have a... Z28 right here from Johnny Lightning. Whoops, easy. 
Um, I believe there's a, another Z28 up on the shelf there. And then I do have another, I believe this was like a 90 or 91. Uh, okay, this is a Z28 as well. This is not an IROC. But uh, another deluxe series, you can see there's your Z28 badge. So I guess these are my first uh, my first two IROCs. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, really nice stuff. I'm not 100% sure what the IROC had. I think the IROC was the 350, uh, the Tuneport 350 small block, made like 250 horsepower. It wasn't anything insanely powerful. Um, I believe the IROC, I want to say the IROC came with a manual. I know you couldn't get a manual 350. I believe the manual transmissions were all 305 cars. But, um, yeah, five-speed V8, you know, it's a Camaro. Really, really cool stuff. So, very excited to be putting two and get a nice black and a white IROC. Did we look at the rears? I don't think we looked at the backs of them. They don't have any license plates on them or anything like that. A lot of nice taillight detail. That looks really good. Yeah, very cool stuff. So that's our two IROC Camaros. We'll move right along into our two GTC Vipers. Oh, that one's backwards. Um, both are orange different uh kind of a different shade of orange for each one this one being more of like a copperish orange with black stripes um yeah really cool looking car i love vipers i really do i always feel like i don't have enough vipers in my collection then i look around and i see vipers everywhere <laughs> but uh yeah really sharp looking car and then a more of a reddish orange like a traffic cone orange with red stripes, not exactly what I would have gone for. I mean, I'm, I think orange cars look great with white stripes. Black looks nice, but I don't know about the red and orange. It's not exactly complementing colors there. Silver gas cap, so you know where it is. License plate says Zest. And zing. We have zest and zing. <laughs> Interesting. And these should be the same base underneath. So we have 518 2022. Same as the Camaros. The same release. Um, yeah, like I said, 2022. So these are over a year old. I've been sitting on these guys for quite some time. Um, just never got around to opening them, I guess. Uh, next up, we've got the GS400s, Buick GS400s. I don't think I have any of these, uh, at least this casting in my collection. Or, uh, I may be wrong. What is this? Come here. I think I do. Um, yeah, this is another GS. There you go. Nice red and white. I guess this was the uh, the factory paint scheme that they were talking about, how it said it only came in silver and white. So this is, I guess, a factory white paint. And then we have the factory silver over here and our custom red. Really, really cool looking car. Very, uh, very 60s. There's our GS400 badge on the back there. Nice chrome wheels. No license plate on this one. No zest or zing. But a uh, really nice looking car. And that's the thing with Auto World Deluxe Series is they just have to look nice. You know, that's all it has to do. It just has to look pretty. Looks good sitting on a stand. Um, you know, and they say, you know, uh, they try to say that like, oh, the Deluxe Series is made for track racing. They're plastic wheels, so they roll faster. I mean, it's sort of true, you know. I guess they would be better for tracks and, like, uh, actually playing with them and whatnot. But, um, you know me. I prefer to stick them on a shelf and just look at them. So if it has plastic tires or rubber tires, I don't really, you know, it's not the end of the world. 
Very nice paint on there. And really the, the auto world quality of, of detail makes up for any plastic base or plastic tire issues that I might have. Really nice looking paint on there. Keep that centered. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the red one. Again, nice little hood scoops on there. Fender gills, or fender vents, whatever you want to call them. Vents, gills. Really, really cool. There's our GS badge again on the back. Even the uh, lock cylinder is detailed in underneath the Buick emblem. Pretty nice. Yeah, it looks good. So we'll keep moving right along here. We've got our two, our Don Garlitz, uh, which we'll call it Tribute Funny Car and the Hawaiian Tribute Funny Car, both of which being Dodge Challengers. Um, we're gonna take a look, of course, at the inside first. As you can see, the bodies open up. A little bit of detail under there. We've got some fire extinguishers, it looks like, up at the front. Um, engine detail. A little seat in there with a tachometer on it, steering wheel, all the good stuff. So we'll... Uh, do I have a Don Garlitz card? I do. Uh... Oh, I have a Don Garlitz dragster, right? Here we go. So there is one of Don Garlitz uh, Winds Charger dragsters. If you've been on the channel for a while, you'll remember this car. I did show it quite some time ago. But uh, there's one of Don Garlitz dragsters. And then if I can find, I should be able to find... A here we go. A rolling long Hawaiian dragster. So yeah, and there's the Hawaiian charger on the front. But uh there you go. So that's the actual well I know the Don Garlitz one isn't, but uh some uh some of my other dragster stuff. Eventually, I think I'm going to organize all my dragsters and get a, a separate shelf for them or something. Because I have some really cool stuff. This Don Garlitz car is really nice. Big Daddy Don Garlitz driver is... What does that say? Gary Bulger? Bulger? Gary Bulger? Richter Automotive. Krager. All kinds of cool Sponsors on there. We'll go ahead and get the Hawaiian one shut. Really, really nice looking car. Yeah, Roland Long's Hawaiian Dodge. And of course, there's the Charger front end on there. SRT. Really cool looking car. Um, so, alcohol and funny car. I know that. I know what those letters stand for. Really, really nice. Yeah, and like I said, guys, if you've been on my channel, if you've been subscribed for a while, you know I have more Hawaiian vehicles than you can shake a stick at. Let's see. There's one there, one there. Uh, there's another one there. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's one there. One up there on the wall. And now we have a modern-day tribute car. Um, oh, and that's right. I have the uh, chase truck. The Hawaiian chase truck right there. Or uh, maintenance vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so you could say I've got quite a few of the uh, Hawaiian Dodge Charger cars in my collection. <laughs> but anywho, let's move on to... The, uh, oh, wow, wait. Oh, whoa. Check that out. These have rubber tires. Both 
both the dragsters have run, uh, funny cars, excuse me. Both the funny cars have rubber tires on them. Well, that's nice. You love to see it. Cool. There's a look at the base. It does have a metal base, too, technically speaking. I mean, there's some plastic on the edge, but this piece itself is actually metal. That's interesting. Uh, dong, guang, guang, dong. 5-18-2022. That is our production date and, uh, I guess, location. Dong, guang. So let's scoot these guys out of the way. And we will talk a little bit about release number two. So we'll go ahead and come back a bit here. Now, release number two, same story as the last time. Um, you know, four cars. This time we've got an 89 IROC, uh, an 86 Mustang SVO, a 96 Firebird Trans Am. This is another one. I have a lot of these castings, but I don't have any convertibles. So it's cool. They took the roof off this time. Um, and the two 2010 Z06s. I also have a lot of those Corvettes. I got one. Oh, there's one right there. Um, and then the Firebirds. Yeah, like I said, I've got, I think there's one there. Um, there's another one around here somewhere, I believe. There's one there. I got a whole shelf full of them over here. There's three more up there. I believe those three on the top are all deluxe series as well. Uh, there's a couple more. So I do have... Oop, easy. Come on. Oops, sorry. Pause the video and I didn't mean to. Um, I do have quite a few of these uh, LT1-powered Firebirds here, but like I said, I don't have any convertibles, so let's do some reading. Uh, first up, first deluxe fact says, The 1989 Camaro was part of the Heartbeat of America ad campaign for Chevrolet. Uh, for the Mustang SVO, the Ford Special Vehicle Operations Division designed a computer-controlled fuel-injected turbocharged system maximizing the output of the same 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine that was installed in the Ford Pinto. That's right. These were uh, turbo four-cylinder, the SVO. No five-liter V8 in that. Uh, less than 1,000 Firebird Trans Am convertibles were built in 1996, making them relatively rare. Um, again, rare, undesirable, it's, you know, one of those things. I guess rare is, you know, but it's a convertible. Eh. Zora Arcus Duntov is the man responsible for convincing GM to have an optional racing package for the Corvette back in 1963. This was the origin of the RPO, regular production option, Z06 Corvette. So that's where the Z06 comes from. And then for version B... IROC stands for the International Race of Champions. It was a $696 option package for the Z28. Oh, okay, so you can get an IROC Z28, including upgraded suspension, special wheels and tires, ground effects, louvered hood, and special IROC Z graphics. Uh, the 1986 Ford Mustang SVO made 175 horsepower with 210 pound-feet of torque. To compare, the 5-liter V8 version made 200 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. So only 25 more horsepower, but you got another 50 foot-pounds of torque from the V8. Um, you know, it's the age-old argument, oh, a turbo four-cylinder can do anything a V8 can do. Yeah, but not. it can't make the torque that a V8 can make. Uh, for 1996, there were just... There were just under 31,000 units of the Firebird sold. Of these, about 2,500 of them were equipped with the WS6 Ram Air option. Um, WS6 was the, the one to get. The 2010 Corvette Z06 was fitted with an LS7 7 liter 427 cubic inch V8 that made 505 horsepower at 6,300 RPM and 470 pound feet of torque. 427, that's not a big block. It's an LS, so it is actually a small block. Um, there seems to be some confusion about that. I think the only big block LS is that big 454 thing that they, uh, the crate engine. It's technically, it's an LS, but it's also a big block or whatever. Um, I won't get into that. 
But yeah, really cool stuff. I'm super excited. Normally I wouldn't be excited about a convertible because um, convertibles are kind of meh, but I don't have any convertible Trans Ams, so that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's get this stuff opened up. All right, I'm gonna go a little out of order here just because I wanted to check out these Trans Ams. We'll start off with the blue one, 1996 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Really cool interior, white with uh, black trim. So you've got two-tone interior. Um, all the details that you would try to focus on. Come on, show me, there we go, that's better. Um, that is, in fact, what the interior of a Trans Am looks like. I know they've got those little the little vents across the top there. you got your little shifter. Really, really great amount of detail in that interior. Really nice looking car. And I just, yeah, it's so cool to me that it's a convertible. I don't know. I don't usually like convertibles because they're heavier and they're, you know, just meh. But something about it just looks nice. I don't know, I guess it's because I'm so used to seeing the uh, the non-convertible versions of these cars over and over and over again. But, uh, there we go, nice white there. Really, really good looking car. Now, as I always say, this is the uh, pre-facelift fourth generation Firebird. So this is the LT1 powered car, not the LS1 powered car. Um, and I feel like I talk about this every time I have one of these cars on the channel, but um, Some notable differences Between the two. This is an LS1 car. They did do some facelifts some uh, some changes to the front ends the uh, the hood the headlights just some uh, Exterior changes but this is a 96, so this is, I believe, what, second to last year of the uh, LT1? Because the 98 was the first year of the LS cars. Uh, I believe these were good for about 300 horsepower, 290, 285, something like that. Something around that range, like high twos, low threes. Um, 5.7 liter LT1 V8 T56 six-speed manual transmission, or if you got an automatic, it was a 4L60E, but who gets an automatic muscle car? Come on. Really, really nice car. Probably a blast to drive. I would love to own one. So we'll go ahead and scoot those over. Yeah, they just look so different from the, uh, from the rest of them. Let's check out, we've got more IROX, this time it's an 89 instead of a 90, big difference. Uh, we've got <laughs> red and blue, so that's cool, so now i got a red, white, and uh, red, white, and blue there. I'll put them with each other. Um, yeah, I know we just looked at a, a white one and a black one, but here they are in red and blue. The red's got some nice tan interior on it, let's take a look at that. That looks pretty cool. Very, very nice. We do have IROC Z license plates. We didn't get license plates on the uh, the black one or the white one, but the red one, at least, and the blue one have IROC Z on the license plate there. There we go. Very nice. I'll take a look at the blue one as well here. I like that blue a lot. I think it's the same. Um, it's almost the same. Yeah, it's the same blue <laughs> as the uh, as the Firebird. Looks really good. Nice metal flake in there. Detail looks good. The only thing is, like I said, I keep talking about it, the plastic wheels and tires, but the only thing is that does limit your wheel options. Um, a lot of deluxe cars have, like, the same wheels on them. So, hope you like basic five spokes. <laughs> Either way, very cool stuff. So those are our 1989 Ooh. IROC Camaros. Next up, we're going to save the Mustangs for last because they're Mustangs. They're always in last. 
Next up, we've got the uh, 2010 Corvette Z06s. Now, being that these are Z06s we talked about, these have the LS7 in them. I believe 2010, however, the base model Corvette was... It's getting dusty. Uh, in 2010, the base model Corvette was equipped with an LS3 6.2 liter V8, like what I have in my Camaro. Um, but yeah, this was the big boy. This was the big bad Z06. You don't mess with a Z06. It's a 500 horsepower go-kart. <laughs> Absolute animal of a car. Really sharp looking too. Um, like I said, I do have a handful. I know I've got another one. There it is. So we have seen this casting from uh, Auto World Deluxe before. These were the uh, carbon whatever. Uh, I'm not sure if these were Z06s. I believe they were. Yeah, there you go. There's your Z06 badge on the fender. So they might have been like a 2011, you know, just because Auto World likes to say, well, this one's a different year. It's the same car. <laughs> anyway there's the uh the nice red and oh we got z06 on that license plate z06 on the other one yep so very very cool stuff again same wheels as the camaras but this time they're black so that makes it different i guess um <laughs> add a bit of variety to all two of our wheel choices, but there is the 2010 Corvette Z06. Really cool stuff. This is a great pack. We got Pontiacs, Chevys, we have Vets, Camaros, Firebirds. Should have given us something other than Mustangs, but anyway. <laughs> Here are our two turbo four-cylinder, 2.3 liter four-cylinder Mustangs. Again, like we said, this is the SVO, so 175 horsepower turbo four-cylinder in this little guy. We got a Mobile One license plate on this one. That's pretty cool. Some Mobile One graphics on the side. Number 23. Um, it's a nice color, kind of a root beer brown. Catch some of that metal flake as it turns there. Right there on that back fender looks really good. Nice sparkle there. Some, uh, I guess, very very 80s-esque racing stripes up the hood. The little offset hood scoop. And uh, same wheels as the Camaro, but this time they're silver instead of chrome. Um, yeah, this color's really growing on me. I like this color a lot. Really nice. Again, you get that nice metal flake effect there. Take a quick peek underneath. We haven't been looking underneath this uh, release number two. These are 329-2023. So that was last year. Yeah, 329-23. No year maker model listed on the bottom of any of these guys. We just have uh, production dates. 329.23, and I imagine the Corvette is probably the same. Yes, 329.23. All right, let's bring this uh, white one over here. Really, really cool. I believe, give me two seconds here. Yes, I do have another SVO from a previous release here. Uh, and a nice gunmetal gray, almost like a dark blue, blue gray with chrome wheels. Same wheels, but they're chrome this time, or that time. So, this is our new one here. Kind of a, I don't know, I, I'm not crazy about the paint job. It looks okay. I guess it's kind of vague, just number 35. I don't know. I see some, like, sponsorship decals or something on it somewhere, but, yep. That's number 35, that's for sure. There's our SVO license plate. We do have SVO badge on the trunk as well. It says Mustang SVO, little Ford badge. 
There we go. Very, very cool stuff. So, that is going to be everybody for today's video. All right, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed a um, lot of Auto World Deluxe Series stuff. And like I said, there is more stuff uh, under the desk. So we will be checking that stuff out in the uh, in the next video because um, I just I have so much Auto World Deluxe series stuff to get through. So we'll give uh, let's do one more quick pass. We got all our IROX there. Firebirds, Camaros, Mustangs, Vipers, Buicks, funny cars. All kinds of good stuff. A lot of great stuff from uh, the Auto World Deluxe series here. Really, really cool. And like I said, I've been sitting on some of this stuff. Some of these uh, older ones here I have been sitting on for quite some time. So nice to finally get that stuff out of the box. So let's go ahead and get you back in the stand here. There we go. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if there's anything you want to see on the channel, guys, be sure to let me know in the comment section. I do try to read all your comments. I don't always get notifications for every comment anymore. I don't know why. I guess YouTube just changed their things. But um, I do try to write back to all the comments that I see um, and, you know, just chat with you guys and whatnot. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.